Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today we're going to show off Old Colossus. I got to tell you guys, it's difficult for me to know whether or not or how much stronger he really is because I'm not on my account. I know where he was at my account, but he seems pretty damn strong, guys. He seems pretty damn strong. I mean, on this account, the raid level is like 267. It's not 499 like it is on my account. That makes a huge difference in the amount or the level of world boss that you're going to face, a huge difference. Difference. The higher the raid level you have, the more damage you're going to deal and the less damage you're going to take. That makes a huge difference, so keep that in mind when you're watching this. And old boy, and as I said earlier, he looks amazing. This dude looks freaking spectacular. Loving it, man. Colossus looks awesome. And yeah. So this Colossus has 17,000 physical attack, he has 115 attack speed, 26 crit rate, 167 critical damage, low critical damage, 48% ignore defense, and he has 45% skill cooldown. Now I'm going to remedy that whenever I take him in World Boss, I'm going to give him an attack bonus with a couple guys that will give him uh, all cooldown. Give him 5% extra all cooldown, that will be maxed out. He has no Urus, guys. Keep that in mind, Is all of his gears are 20. Now it's passive. He's got the super armor. He's got the reflect 100% of physical damage received, up to 150% of max attack, which is awesome for PvP. He's got, and this is the beautiful thing about this guy. He's got all this all defense down that applies to world boss. Stacks up 35%, lasts for four seconds. He's got penetration, super armor, barrier shield, all damage immune. He has all defense down again on this skill, plus fracture and stun. He has all defense down again on this skill. It's just crazy, man. They really, Nemar will put some love in this guy. He's got a damage accumulation that, and this is a damage accumulation where you have to take damage to deal more damage, but you're going to find guys in the gameplay, you don't really want to take too much damage. Uh, he, he can die, you got to be real careful with him. And this is only a two second immunity, so it doesn't last very long. In his previous uniform, he had, a, I think, a bit more survivability. I mean, if we go look at his, uh, other uniform here let's see here yeah if you go to this other uniform you take a look at this thing we have damage immunity for two seconds and I thought he had damage immunity on another skill yeah he's got four seconds of damage immunity on his fourth skill so with this new uniform they took that away his four skill does not have immunity to all damage, so he lost four seconds of immunity. Now, he does have iframes, so he has that form of survivability. So just keep that in mind. They did change it, you know, to iframes. Where were we at? So anyways, he's got this. He's, he's got the damage accumulation, plus he's got the all attack buff here. Kind of lost track where I was. Now he's got a decreased damage received from superhero types by 50%. And this applies to all allies, guys. This could be very useful in PvP. Maybe even in timeline, man. Decreases the effect of reflect by 60%. Reflects effects of physical reflect. Pretty awesome, guys. Decreased damage received from supervillain types by 50%. So from heroes or supervillains, he's going to give you a decreased damage received by 50%. That is a hell of a lot, man. That is awesome. It really makes your characters tanky, so he might be a real go-to to put in timeline. His 4 gives him the penetration. Nothing much else. And his 5 gives him an all-defense down again. And this time he has a damage accumulation that is based on how much damage you deal. Now because this 3 has damage accumulation and this 5 has damage accumulation, let's go into the preview skill and I'll talk about what I do here with my rotation. Now I haven't mastered this, I haven't had a whole lot of time to play with this guy, but I, this is what I've done so far. What I like to do guys, is I like to hit the 3 first. And that 3 will give you that damage accumulation. And then I like to hit the 5. You know, maybe you'll take a little damage before it, maybe you won't, but I hit the 3, then the 5. I let that 5 play out, I want the damage proc on the 5. Then I hit the 4, let the 4 play out, and then I hit the 2. And the 2 is a nice long iframe, so he's got some good survivability. Even though they took that immunity from his 4th skill away, he still has some good survivability. So the rotation I do is 3, 5, 4, and then 2. 
pretty much. So you want to cancel the three into the five, let the five play out, get the damage proc on the five, then the four, then the two. Now you guys are going to see in the gameplay, I don't really land the proc very much. And that's, I think it's really due to a lot of the lag that's in this APK. This thing's got a lot of lag, man. I don't think my device is helping either. I, normally I play on an iPhone Max, and I'm actually playing on a Note 10 Plus. Uh, it's an excellent phone, guys, but I use this phone mainly for work. I don't really use it for gaming. That's why I have an iPhone Max. But it does, you guys will notice there is some lag, and it's, it's a bit annoying, I gotta tell you. Uh, it's definitely reminded me of the old days when I played on a much cheaper device. His leadership, 100% chance to become immune to physical damage for 11 seconds, very nice. We have an overdrive set, stage 6 overdrive set, and we have a CTP of energy with a 200% damage proc and a normal unit. So guys, keep in mind when you're watching this uh, clear that we have no Urus. He is a level 64 character, he's not at level 70. His gears are all at 20. He has a regular ISO 8 set. You know, it's not fully awakened. And we have a normal rank uni. The only really OP thing we have is the CTP of energy. And I gotta tell you guys, man, he has, he's impressing me big time. You know, I, I try to remember, you know, that we're not doing as high a level as normal, but you have, you guys, you gotta remember the raid level is like 267. It is way lower than 499 max raid level. It makes a big difference, man. So let's get into the action and let's rock and roll. Okay guys, so get ready for Lag Central, but, but seriously, we're just going to be using Colossus Leadership, so we're not going to use any kind of support, no major, no mega supports, nothing. This is stage 32, this is the highest available world boss that I have against Proxima, and Kaecilius and Wong, they're just, they're just giving 5% cooldown and 5% all attack buff from the team up bonus, and that's it. And the only strikers we're going to use is Scarlet, so we can try to lock down Proxima, because I can't stand her jumping around all over the place. And Anti-Venom, because you do want those heals, guys. You do want those heals. And, you know, after playing this, I think I might change the rotation. I think I might just hit the 5 first, and then hit the 3 after to get that 2 second immunity, and then go into the 4, then the 2. I might do 5, 3, 4, 2, maybe in another time. But this is what I did in this run, and it worked out, but... I don't think, I'm not really, I don't think it's really optimal, guys. I, like I said, I didn't have a whole lot of time to practice. Uh, I wanted to get this video out for you guys. I know a lot of you are really curious about Colossus. And I gotta tell you, man, I think this is gonna be a must-buy uniform. This thing is strong. This is strong. For this raid level, to use this leadership, uh, the build that he has, this is freaking awesome. This dude is strong. On my account, he's gonna do a whole lot better. I mean, just imagine, you slap Urus on him, build him up. Give him a mythic uni, uh, have max raid level, give him good strikers. Yeah, he's going, man, it's going to be ridiculous. I'm telling you guys. I made, I tried this a few times without Scarlet, and yeah, man, Proxy just jumps a lot, man. And this is really difficult for him because, you know, the team up that I'm using. And I mean, I really put Colossus at a hell of an advantage here because I want to show how strong he is. And he gets it done, guys. Seriously, man. I mean, he gets it done. This dude's pretty awesome. I'm enjoying the freaking hell out of him. I mean, he is way... I think he's way better than what he was before. I mean, I can't accurately judge that because I'm not on my account. But, man, he seems pretty damn strong, guys. He seems pretty damn strong. Having all defense down on four separate skills that applies to world boss is a must. You're, you can stack, you know, yes, the all defense downs only last about four seconds. But if you're canceling, that's one reason, like if you're canceling the one skill into the next or going from one skill to the next, you're going to be doing that much more damage because you're stacking all defense down on top of each other. I mean, he's, man, he's pretty sweet, guys. And there I had to switch, got a little worried. Got a little worried, got a little worried. Oh, Wong's a little slow on the old feet, man. He don't run very fast. He is kind of a big boy, though. I guess that's why. But you guys can see, man, he's he's doing good. He's melting this crap. He is melting this. I mean, really, the only assistance we're getting is from Scarlet. When she mind controls, her all defense down applies, and that helps. But that's really about it. Locking uh, Proxima down, that's it. I mean, we're not using any other strikers, nothing to bump up his damage. I mean, man, he's he's pretty awesome, guys. Seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm liking O'Colossus. I honestly didn't even think that much about him. 
when I first learned he was going to get a Phoenix 5 uh, uniform. But after playing him now and seeing how he looks, man, I'm loving him. I am freaking loving him. He's pretty cool, I have to say. Pretty fast on his feet, got good movement speed. And who knows, maybe they'll give uh, Colossus that immunity on his fourth skill when the actual update comes. You know, remember guys, you know, when these APK, these early releases, these betas, we don't have everything. You know, they Netmarble fooled us with Namor. Namor didn't have Jack for survivability. And then whenever he freaking came out with their update, he had two full iframes that really helped his survivability. So we don't know. They might change some stuff. But as it sits right now, Colossus is pretty awesome. Even if he remained the way he is right now, he's pretty awesome. You guys can see you can keep him alive. It wasn't this wasn't all that difficult. It only took me a couple tries. Not too bad. Really, the worst thing for me was just playing on this device. And uh, I know a lot of you guys can be like, well, you know, now you know how we feel. Well, don't worry, guys. I, I know how you feel. Believe me, I used to be there. I know exactly how you feel. I used to play on a Galaxy A7, so I know all about it, man. Oh, my God, that phone lag like crazy. Makes a big difference having a good device, I can tell you that. But, man, he tears it up, man. He is destroying it. I even got my, by the way, I even got my settings on low to try to decrease the lag a little bit. But honestly, guys, I think the APK is really what's hurting it more. You know, I've seen other videos where the, they're having lag issue, a little bit of lag issue. So I don't think I'm the only, I think we're all kind of in the same boat with the, the star agents are all in the same boat with this one. But man, he gets it done, guys. Seriously, I'm loving it. Colossus, I do believe he's got his just deserves, man. He is freaking sweet, guys. Seriously. Easy to play. Pretty fluent. Look at that, guys. I mean, 13 seconds to spare, and now you're going to see that raid level that we got going on. 267. Jesus. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I got kicked out of the system as soon as it showed that raid level. So we had to go back into here. But something I didn't mention about Colossus that is pretty sweet is his uniform effect. On top of having that 50% decrease damage received, he also gets another 30% decrease all damage received from his uniform. So he always has an 80% decrease damage received, guys, which makes him an absolute tanking beast. So guys, let me know what you think about Colossus. I think he's fantastic. I think this is a must-buy uniform. If this is any indication of what we're going to get in the actual update, I'm loving him. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.